That Christ in us is our hope of glory. Peace and blessings. This is Father Paolo for IEZ 2016. The last day of the Theological Symposium prior to the 51st International Eucharistic Congress continued to inspire and educate pilgrims from all over the world. Father Benedicto Tao, Rector of San Carlos College Seminary Cebu, led the assembly in the morning prayers. Basilian priest Benedict Thomas Rosica gave an engaging talk on evangelizing a secular world. He reminded that evangelization has the whole world as a field and not just the church. Father Rosica shared some traits or qualities that modern-day communicators or evangelizers can learn from Pope Francis. Mercy, joy, humility, urgency in promoting the gospel, and patience as we live in a world by which good and evil grow together and for which we work out our salvation as God's people. Presenting a comprehensive catechesis on the Sunday Eucharist, liturgist Josefina Manabat led the assembly to reflect on the primordial importance of the Sunday Mass as an encounter with the Risen Lord. Dr. Manabat said, On Sunday, the Risen Lord appears to us and raises us up from the routine of daily life to the joyful feast of the Resurrection. The Sunday family meal becomes, as it were, an extension of the Eucharistic meal. Some notable sharings from the concurrent workshops in the afternoon include Pauline Father Norman Peña, a facilitator in the track The Eucharist in the Church's Dialogue with Cultures, commented on the new media as potent tools for the new evangelization. Father Peña said, New media belongs to God the Eucharistic prime actor in the culture of connectivity. A social media that allows you to focus only to social media and not to socialization is false. Tessie Ponteras shares her experience of being a good Samaritan. It's not so much to embrace uh, the other, but perhaps it is allowing ourselves to be embraced also. Um, because when we try to, to be the one to be the embracing, there still remains uh, a sort of uh, power from us. We can choose whom to embrace. The last day of the symposium ended with a Mass presided by Most Reverend Jesuit Antonio Ledesma, Archbishop of Cagayan de Oro City. In his homily, Archbishop Ledesma made the late prelate of Ebil, fellow Jesuit Federico Escaler, as model for a modern-day evangelist or apostle. Bishop Escaler worked tirelessly in the promotion of faith, justice and peace, and the integral human development in Mindanao. On Sunday, January 24, the 51st International Eucharistic Congress will formally open, with a Mass presided by His Eminence Salesian, Charles Mong Cardinal Bo, Papal Legate at the Plaza Independencia Cebu. It is expected that the Congress will draw around 12,000 pilgrims from all over the world as they deepen the resolve as a Eucharistic people through the week-long celebration, learning, encounter of faith, hope, and renewed commitment to serve in joy. Please follow us on our social media accounts for updates. This has been Father Paolo Asper of the Society of St. Paul for IEZ 2016. That Christ in us is our hope of glory.